I'm over here. I just had the most killer workout. I did 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. Don't underestimate it, but I am actually really impressed with how the blush has held up. Like, look at that. After literally, I was pouring, pouring buckets, and the blush still looks like this. So I really like the combo of the cream and then the powder blush over it. Kind of, I think it kind of helped it. So anyway, we are currently building a house, and just to kind of touch, I wanted to show you guys my future, like, makeup room, but the house all of the insulation is done which is so exciting because we passed the insulation inspection and then the next step is going to be drywall which is huge we've been building for eight months now and we probably have another six months to go yeah look how easy to climb up this so this is going to be my future filming area so all the problems that I have about waking up kids and not having a place for my stuff will be fixed. This is gonna be a big built-in vanity, mirrors, shelves. I'm so excited. This is really going to make my channel more product productive, I believe. Hello, hello. Today we are filming a first impressions on the Jaclyn Hill blush i got i just got the blush i didn't really get anything else and i got the lighting blush it's like a powder blush no a loose powder blush super unique super cool and then the cream to powder blush as well this is kind of what i'm dealing with right now i, I am just stuffed into the little corner here of the guest bedroom so do you love my setup this is probably the most difficult filming space I've had just because it's not permanent. So I have to, when we have visitors coming, I have to literally pack away everything, move everything away. It's right next to one of my kids' rooms who wakes up over everything so I can't wake up early to film. And yeah, and then I can't do like far away shots like this and talk. And what I want to do though is I want to get all my makeup on, not all of it except for the blush, and then go in with the blush test because there's no point in you watching me do my entire makeup but i'm gonna film it go all right so i have almost most of my makeup on I didn't really set my foundation because I really want to try the, what is this called? Cream to powder blush stick. And I just thought it would be good not to set my cheek area in order to use this. So this was $22 and I got it in the shade Overruled, which is like this really pretty pinkish standard <laughs> blush color that I seem to gravitate toward. I usually gravitate towards something like really luminous and pink or corally. Let's have to look at this. Oh my gosh. First off, this color, it just feels so glamorous in the hand. The size of it is really cool. I just don't have anything like this. It seems to come with a lot of product, quite a bit of product. You don't twist the cap, you just pull the cap off. Let's go ahead and see how this applies. Wow, that is really pigmented. I'm just taking this um, it Cosmetics Airbrush Complexion Perfection Brush. This is a synthetic hair brush. Okay, that's really pretty. I will say it is a little more difficult to blend out. But then once you do get that blend, it's really pretty. Just a very subtle. So that's what that side looks like. And then let's try again with this side. like this that seems to be the best and that is what that looks like wow it is super pretty I like to bring some on my temples just to create a more cohesive look oh my goodness dropping things so wow so far I'm really impressed with how this performed it looks really nice and I feel like I can even go in with the powder one so I'm just going to do some bronzer I have I did some cream contour but I actually haven't done 
any bronzer, so I'm going to bronze up this look. I'm going to use my City uh, Maybelline City Bronzer, which I absolutely love with the Jaclyn Hill JH02. We'll just keep it in the Jaclyn Hill family. I feel like I could just be done with my makeup right now. I know what you're thinking. What about your mascara? It's so weird. I have not been wearing mascara just because I have the worst seasonal allergies and I'm like anything around my eyes just makes it worse but you know I might do some mascara today but let's go ahead and try the luminous rouge in the color lover boy it's supposed to do a blur imperfections and it's supposed to leave a subtle radiant finish a luminous finish you know a lot of these products with her brand kind of remind me of hourglass which I love I love that luminosity and so I'm really excited to try this out she actually has all the shades available for this product which I think is so great the packaging once again is absolutely stunning love that and I love how it has that color right there I wonder if it matches every single color as that you have on the inside or if it's all the same color on the outside I bet it matches though and then there's like a little stopper right there this one is a little more scary to use I feel like this one you can overdo it really fast her marketing with everything is very like Baroque style, very bam, like the blush is in your face. And so that's the only thing that might be a little intimidating, especially for those of us who don't want to be like, bam, here's my blush. But we definitely want that warmth. So that's kind of what it looks like. There is a description. I'm going to think that a nice, loose, natural haired brush is probably going to be the best for this. And let's see what she says. Perfect for a subtle glowy blush. Use a medium fluffy brush to sweep from apples to cheeks. So this is, so I'm gonna go in with this brush. This is the light layer blush brush from Real Techniques. So a little bit of this product definitely goes a long way. Really pretty color. I will say it goes on, it goes on quite strong and it's a little, it's kind of weird, but it's not like a really easy poof, poof, poof blended. You do kind of have to, I feel like work with it just a hair, but it's really pretty. I don't know, this one I'm still on the fence on. I think it's just gonna take me some practice and some work because it's such a unique formula. It has been a really long time since I've actually done anything with my eyes and a full lip. If you want to know any of the products I use, you can find them down below. Did I use? So for the highlight, I added the Revlon Skin Lights. It's an awesome drugstore option. I've been really, really obsessed with that. And then I did go in with my Dose of Colors. This is such a good palette. Desi Times Kitty Frankation Palette. Wow. I mean, the quality of these shadows is honestly out of this world. Um, I really like the neutrals, of course, but I use those and I just have been so obsessed. And then I went with my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner, which, you know, I haven't used in a while. And so it felt nice to actually use something that, you know, has just been sitting around. There's nothing better than that. Setting Mist, the Fenty Beauty What It Do Makeup Refreshing Spray. I really like this. I compare it a lot to the ColourPop Pretty Fresh just because it's very, it's not one of your, like, not to make your makeup super long lasting i let the makeup do that most of the time but it's really just sets it down melts those powders in and i think it really does a phenomenal job i use my double extend tube like mascara and especially for days like this where i might have a little bit of allergies this comes off in tubes so it doesn't flake if i have any problems i need to do eye drops it's not going to be a huge problem lip gets a little bit more it's a little more complicated i just use this random lip liner from ace beauty and then I've just been obsessed with, this is the KKW times Mario collab in Proud of You and he's a mixer. So that's just my nude lip, which it's a go-to all the time just because there's no pinks in it. It's a very neutral lip, which I think is actually really hard to find these days. For the first impressions, final thoughts about these products, I personally, I'm pretty happy with them. I mean, for my first impressions, exactly what they are, like the stick one here, how much product it has, Yes, it takes just a teeny little bit of work to just like blend it out, but I recommend those tapping motions to really not disturb your makeup underneath, but to just press that 
in and for $22 I really feel like that's a reasonable price for how much product you're getting and the application of it and then last but not least we have the luminous blush powder this is so different I don't know if I would recommend applying this over cream. I do feel it just catches a little bit too much, so I'd recommend setting down whatever cream blushes you are using and then going over this with a nice, loose br um, brush, just because I do feel like even though this is supposed to be really light coverage, I feel like it builds up super fast and can get stuck really fast if you're using cream products. I'm talking about powder, loose powder blush that is just a tad not appealing and the reason for that is because it just takes a little bit of that extra work i don't reach for a lot of my loose powders a lot of the times just because i know that it's going to take a little bit of extra work i know it sounds ridiculous but you have to take off the cap you know things blow up in the air so that's kind of my thought this is 30 dollars. so if you had to choose one over the other i do recommend the stick blush i think it's just such a great formula so far from what I've known but the blush does look super natural like I said I use both of them so I don't know it's hard those are my thoughts love this stick one this is a really cool formula but those are kind of my first impressions don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one bye